Hi everyone, it's Shay. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my usual glam, but with a twist. I'm going to be using all luxury products. Mostly luxury. Luxury to me anyways. So if you want to see how I got this look right here, please keep on watching. So first I'm going to start off with prepping my skin. And since this is a luxury makeup tutorial, I'm going to use a little La Mer. Even though this is like the original and I don't know how... This is gonna go since it's really thick. Just warm it up with my hands. It smells good. I'm gonna put it all over my face. Okay. And then I'm also going to prep my lips with this Dior Lip Glow Oil. My hands are slippery. I'm just going to put a little bit on because a lot of product comes out. That adds a little tint too. Okay. So next, primer. So for my primer, I'm going to be using this Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. And honestly, I just got it because I saw someone else had it. I don't really use it that often, so I don't really know how well I like it or stuff like that. But it feels good and it goes on really well, so... Next, I'm going to do a prime highlight. I'm going to take this Pat McGrath Highlighter and Balm Duo. That's the balm. I've never used the balm. I don't know exactly what you do with the balm. I actually haven't seen people use the balm. Maybe if I go on her page or something like that, she'll demonstrate it. Because we all need to learn. Right there. Now we're not actually highlighting, we're just doing a prep highlight, so that's what luxury people do. Okay, next we can start off with our foundation. So since this is a luxury makeup tutorial, I'm gonna be using two foundations. So first I'm going to apply the hourglass thick foundation. I'm just going to Apply it all over my face, some on my forehead, which is on my face. And then I'm going to mix that in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Mix that up a little bit. And I'm going to apply it to my beauty blender beauty sponge, excuse me, this is not a beauty blender. I'm just do a little bit since we already have foundation on. And I'm just going to press it in all over. I always need more when I'm going on my forehead. It's just a habit. <laughs> Make sure everything's blended into your liking. Next, concealer. So since I'm a little baggy today, I'm going to use a little bit of the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, which I love. I've had it for a long time and look how much I used. Because it's just so pigmented, you really only need like, and that might be too much, so. I'm just going to place it underneath my eyes, just like that. And we're just gonna blend that in. I 
My beauty sponge is trying to run away from me. Doesn't want to be used. Always make that face. Like trying to keep my eyebrows down, not because then you'll get the creases in your forehead before you even set. Okay. Next, I'm going to conceal the rest of my face. I'm using the Chantecla. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's how you use it. Foundation. Oil-free gel foundation. I like to use as concealer, obviously. So I just take what's in the cap like this. And then I'll just... That's a lot, but... You can just take some of the excess and... Got my nose like that. And then... Baby hair. Okay. Sorry, I say okay like every two seconds. It's annoying. So, anyways, I'm gonna set my face a little bit with that hourglass translucent setting powder. I'm just going to go right here underneath my face. Like that I want to press it in more. To set us up for our nose contour. I know this looks like a lot, but we're not done yet. I'm just gonna take this Luxie brush. It's a foundation brush. I think I've said this before, I don't think I've ever used it for foundation, but I'm just going to set my forehead and basically the rest of my face very lightly dusting. Okay, next I'm going to work on my brows. I'll be using the hourglass brow pencil. I'm just going to be filling them in ever so nicely. I'm just gonna set in my brows with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I know this isn't really luxury. I mean, it's luxury for some people. 
And it's luxury for me. It's about $22, if I'm remembering correctly. But I know there's like crazy expensive ones. Like, I'm sure Tom Ford has crazy expensive one. But this is what I got. Next, we'll move on to our eyes. And I'm going to be using this Bobbi Brown palette, which I love. Uh, they don't sell this anymore. This is one of the first not the first I'm not sure one of the first palettes that I got when I started getting into makeup and of course I got a palette like this I don't remember how much it was at least $60 but I love it so much it comes with three eyeliners which I took one of them out and it comes with Two, four, six, eight eyeshadows and a brush that I've never used. Maybe I'll use the brush today. No, probably not. So I'm just going to start off with this pale shade right here. Let's see how this will work. That shade right there. I just whack myself in the head. Actually, I'll just use this mirror. Next, I'm going to warm up with like a light nude. Okay. I'm gonna go into a deeper nude. I just carve all that out. Just add more definition. I'm actually going to go into another palette because I love this palette, but there's only eight shades. So I'm going to go into my NARS This Wanted palette, which I love. This is definitely luxury. And I got it open. I think I dug my nail into it, so that's not cute. definitely not cute anyways sorry I got distracted by my nails for a minute so I'm just going to take this dark shade right here and I'm going to plop it the end of the crease and then just blend all that in a nice simple eye then we're gonna add some shimmer so I'm gonna take this Mac brush you know I ordered this brush thinking that it was two brushes but look they're the same so I'm just going to plop in into this shade right here I'm just going to plop it all over the eyelid. I'm just going to clean up my crease again. I'm just going to add a little shimmer to the brow bone. Just a tiny bit. That's pretty luxury to me. Perfect. 
So I'm going to leave the eyes alone for a little bit and I'm going to go back to the face for now. And right now I'm going to go to the contour. So I have a little luxury palette right here that I use all the time. But this is the perfect excuse that I have it. So here's my lovely Tom Ford. I love it with all my heart. It's very loved. Look at that. I can't believe I just showed that. That's very disgusting. So I'm going to take this Morphe M572 brush, which I feel like I use all the time too. I'm just going to narrow out my nose. So I just go in as tightly as I can. Usually I try to use not that much product, but of course there's a lot of product that got picked up. And then I'm going to start from the top of my ear right here and then drag it and then stop right about here at the cheek. So I'm not dragging it to the mouth and it won't look like a contour. It looks like you're playing in the mud. I'm just going to blend that out. Actually, I'm gonna take my little baby sponge for this one. See, babies are important too, very helpful. So after that, I'm going to add more powder. I'm going to take some powder and I'm going to put it down the bridge of my nose. And I'm gonna put a little bit more tighter to where the contour is. And then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to blend the sides over here. I'm not really doing a harsh contour, I'm just adding some definition. If I was doing more of a sharp contour, I would probably add a little bit more but just going light today light and classy I don't know why I said classy having definition doesn't make you not classy okay I'm just going to blend this out a little bit more And we'll come back to that. Next, I'm gonna go back to my eyelashes. And hold on because I forgot something. Okay, here's what I forgot. It's my eyelash curl. Of course, it's very important and this is definitely luxury because it's the Surratt eyelash curl and this was expensive, especially for an eyelash curler. Still can't believe I bought it, but. Anyways, we just cut our eyelashes. Next, I'm going to use this Lancome eyelash primer. I don't have the full one because I'm still testing out to see if I like this or not, and I keep on forgetting to use it. So I'll use it right now. I'm just going to generously coat the lashes. And then I'm going to put on one of my favorite mascaras, the Giorgio Romani Eyes to Kill Mascara. You just 
going to add generous coats. The good thing about this is it lengthens so quickly, you don't really need that much. Okay, and for my bottom lashes, I'm going to use the Dior Pump and Volume Mascara, and I love using this for my bottom lashes because of this brush. It just gets every little hair, which is what we need for our bottom lashes. Okay. Next, I'm going to take our bake. I'm going to take my sponge and just, no, I don't want more powder. I just have powder on there. Just make sure it's all soaked in and blended. And then just... Have something in my eye. Sorry. So for the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Tar Charlotte Tilbury Seduce Blush. It's just Blush Duo. I'm going to be taking this shade and just warming it up with my hands. This is another product that I just got to get. No, I accidentally ordered it. That's what happened. Because I was on the website and I was like, oh, that looks cool. And I um, had it in my basket just in case I wanted to order it. And then I went to take it out of my basket and I don't know what happened. Make sure everything's nice and blended in. Okay. Now, let's move on to highlight. So I'm very proud of this highlighter that I have, but the packaging is like dirty because it came in white. But I love this highlighter very much. It is the Tom Ford Sheer Highlighting Duo. I didn't think I'd be using it as much as I do, but it's really it. I'm just going to take a little brush. I like to mix both the shades. And then, just right away you get that instant glow. It's not like blinding, like, oh, like what highlighter is she wearing? But it's just nice glow. Down the nose. A little more on the tip. Cupid's bow. I love Tom Ford. Can you tell? <laughs> Next, we're going to move on to our lips. So I love this lip liner with all my heart. I would buy this every single day. Luckily, this isn't as expensive, but it's more a luxury brand. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. 
I just feel like this nude looks well on basically anyone. And you can use it for basically any type of look. I'm just going to be lining my lips. Next. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've never used this lipstick that I have right here, but it is very luxury, and that's probably why I haven't used it. So this is the Tom Ford lipstick, lip color matte. And look how pretty this is. So I've never used it. I'm probably not gonna use where it says TF because so I'm just gonna take a little brush and just take from size like this and yes. I am crazy, but I don't care. It's my money and I can do whatever I want with it. And just going to fill it in like that. And last but not least, I'm going to top off my lip with a little gloss. This is the Yusuf Saint Laurent Glazing Gloss in number three, which I love using to top lipsticks. I also just like using Iconic Nude and this. It works really well. I'm just going to... I just gonna... Just gonna fill it in like that. Just gonna... So that's pretty much it. Wait, I forgot this. Almost forgot. I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. And... Okay, everything in place. And it smells really good. <sighs> so basically, this is your finished look. Nice little easy glam made with all luxury products. And honestly, you can make this with drugstore, a mixture of both, which is typically what I usually do. But it was fun playing with my luxuries. I'm probably just going to put them back in my glass case and never touch them again. But I really did enjoy this. So if you enjoyed it too, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down any suggestions that you have or just to say hi. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.